Coronavirus will cost our schools heavily. The state has already slashed nearly half a billion dollars from the higher education budget next year. K through 12 could be next. Here is Denver 7's Jessica Porter. The notion that our schools and students will bear the brunt of the cuts needed to balance the state budget is unacceptable. We've heard this conversation before. In fact, the Colorado Education Association says schools haven't healed from last recession's budget cuts. A current 10th grader has never experienced a fully funded system. Per pupil, in, per pupil funding in Colorado lags $2,700 below the national average. In a virtual meeting, the Colorado Education Association proposed passing an emergency tax relief bill to raise revenue and pause accountability systems like standardized testing. Great educators, they know how to assess their students to see um, what they're learning, what their gaps are. Um, that happens every single day in a classroom. Um, to, to spend $24 million at a time when we're looking at um, cutting other crucial supports is just, is just not the right thing to be doing. The governor announced this week he's allocating $510 million from the CARES Act to help K-12 schools. But it's unclear if those funds will offset potential budget cuts. And rural districts are already stretched thin. We're looking at a 13 to 15 percent budget cut, as I know our superintendent is already making some plans for. That means we need to start looking at cutting really difficult things like school sports, art, music, mental health supports, foreign languages. If a second wave of the virus hits in the fall, schools could face even further revenue problems. There's something called the October count that happens every October um, where they determine the number of students who are attending our public schools and that is how funding um, is based. Jessica Porter, Denver 7.